Hello. So we have just uh, designed the DC bias network for the common base amplifier. And next we're going to proceed to the AC analysis. And in the AC analysis, we will want to determine values for small signal voltage gain, input resistance, output resistance. First, the gain for a common base amplifier is equal to collector resistance divided by emitter resistance. In this case, collector resistance is RC, emitter resistance is the series combination of little re and RE1, because RE2 is being bypassed for AC analysis purposes. Um, that means that RE plus RE1 will be equal to RC divided by the gain. And I want my gain uh, to be equal to 50, and so I want RE plus RE1 to be equal to 20K divided by 50 or 400 ohms. Now, little re, we just saw is equal to the thermal voltage divided by the quiescent collector current. And if we assume room temperature, we can approximate the thermal voltage as 25 millivolts, the collector quiescent current as, um, two, as 0.5 milliamps, which gives me 50 ohms. So I have that 50 plus Re1 must be equal to 400 ohms, and therefore Re1 is equal to 350 ohms. And since the series combination of Re1 and Re2 is just equal to the overall Re of 2 kilo ohms, I can now solve for Re2, which is equal to the overall Re minus what I've allocated to Re1, or 2 kilo ohms minus 350 ohms, which is 1.65 kilo ohms. So splitting the resistors this way will give me a gain of 50 for my circuit. Next, we're going to take a look at the input resistance and output resistance for the circuit. My input resistance, in this case, will be the resistance looking into the emitter terminal. So this will be my R in for the circuit. And I can see that it is equal to RE2 in parallel with RE1, which is in series with little re. Um, and that's about it. Then, you know, it will be in series with whatever resistance is connected to the base of the transistor divided by beta by the inverse reflection rule. But uh, since the base, base is tied to ground for AC purposes through the capacitor CB, uh, then the resistance uh, from, from the base to ground for AC purposes will just be zero. And so this concludes our um, input resistance. If we've designed the circuit so that RE1 swamps little RE, we could approximate the input resistance as the parallel combination of RE1 and RE2. Now for my output resistance, I guess I, I'll enter the values. So RE2 will be 1.65K in parallel with, in this case, 400, um, which is approximately 350 ohms. My output resistance will be the resistance looking at the collector terminal. And it's just going to be, I have RC connected to an AC ground in parallel with little RO. So RC in parallel with little RO. And little RO, we can calculate this one of those small signal parameters, which is dependent on the quiescent uh, or the Q point for the transistor. And so it's the early voltage divided by the collector current. Early voltage we are given as 100 volts. The collector current is 0.5 milliamps. And so uh, that's equal to 200 kilo ohms. And so I'll have 20 kilo ohms in parallel with 200 kilo ohms. I can approximate that as RC, which is 20 kilo ohms. And so that will be the output resistance for my common base circuit. Thank you.